morning and welcome to Nightline. I'm Gwen Hall, your host, and we are so glad that you've joined us on this Friday night. We've got a wonderful program. I'm going to be introducing our special guests and singers here in just a little while. I was thinking back just a few minutes ago when I first got saved, where we went to this little tabernacle in Oakley, and Brother Ray Snyder led the the, the worship. We had an old-timey choir sang out of the old redback hymnal. I know you like those songs, and tonight I'm going to sing one of the first songs I believe that I ever heard out of it. While traveling through this world of sorrow, I'm on my way to glory land. I'll not turn back for some tomorrow. My trials here. Tea. 
praise this night it's all about you that you would decrease we would decrease and you would increase in our life God let us decrease let us always keep our eyes upon you God, that we would follow you Holy Spirit that you would lead us that you would guide us in everything we do that we'd be in the right place at the right time to be a help and blessing to somebody tonight Lord Use this program to reach out and minister to those that are watching. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, I want us to go over to Wade, honey. So good to be with you this evening, and I trust you've had a good week and a wonderful day today. Right up front, I want to mention our prayer partners. They come so faithfully Monday through Friday, and they're here to take your call. If you've got a need, no matter what it is, you could be going through something spiritual, financial, physical, family problems, whatever it is. Give us a call and let us join our faith with yours, lifting that need up before the Father. There's the power and unity of prayer. And you know something about these prayer requests can turn right into a praise report. And mentioning praise reports, if you've got a good praise report, call that in also because what that does what God's done for you, somebody else may be going through the same thing. And when they hear how God has delivered you or healed you, whatever the situation is, it will also encourage them, you know. And that's what we need. All of us needs time of encouragement and everything. So call in those good praise reports. And uh, get on the phone because they get busy in a hurry. And we'll read those over the air tonight as we go on in the program. Gwen, good week. It has been a great week. It's probably been a memorable week for you this week because this is a week, and Vicki was sharing with me today that you've been telling all your customers, some of those that you've been delivering to, that next week's your last week. You have three days left. Three days left. <laughs> and you know what scares me? My honeydew list. Your honeydew list. <laughs> I, I'm worried about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid what's going to happen is I'm going to end up working harder and not being paid than I do at work. <laughs> well, you know what? Josh called us. We were talking to Josh on the way down the mountain. And he said, whatever you needed to do, he'd try to help you. Well, he can drive my golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> well, he probably would like that. So I if you're know. watching tonight, Josh, he's already got you a, a little job in place. That's it. How are you feeling about it? I mean, you've been there eight years. Well, i got mixed feelings. You know, seriously. Uh, you, when you're spend that much time you make friends and you you know you uh you have this you know sense of m missing them and i've left other jobs before you know over the years and uh i miss the people a lot of times you miss what you do but bottom line it's new adventure you and i are going to be spending a little more time doing some things and we can get involved and and some other things. So we I'm might could even have KFC on the parkway like you've been long. You think we'll finally get there? <laughs> Maybe. I tease her all the time. She'll say, well, what do you want to do today? Or what do you want to eat? And I'll say, KFC on the parkway. <laughs> and, uh, if I hear that one time a day, I hear it too. <laughs> I, I, I told her a while back, I said, you know, when it comes time and I happen to go on and be with the Lord, if it's not in the rapture, I said, put me a bucket of KFC la, in the la, 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 la. I don't want to hear that. I told you what we would do. We would celebrate afterwards, and every, we just everybody could bring a big bucket of KFC, and we would eat that in honor of you. How about that? I don't want to put that bucket of chicken in there. It'd go bad. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. So you're going to be like the, the lady mm. that uh, her husband's wish was to be buried with all his money. It's still like it. That's you a know, true story. That's, that's what she it's wanted. It's a true story. She, she, you know, he wanted. He wanted to be buried with mm -hmm. all his money, so she fulfilled his wish. She wrote a check and put it in there. That's not really the story. But. 
<laughs> well, I want to tell you tonight about our guests. We've got a wonderful program. Our special friends, Pastors Bill and Kreiter. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe why we're going to talk about Israel tonight. It's been four years, last month, since we did our program on Israel. And tonight, I seem like I've just had that on my heart just over and over. And so I called her the other day. And I said, you all have to come. I said, I've been waking up just thinking about all the things that's happening in Israel. And we're going to just kind of start from the bottom and tell you about when they first went on in 1979 and how things have changed since then. Don't, don't turn this up. This is a good time to call somebody. Let them just hear this program. And I know it's going to be a blessing to them. And then my favorite people are in the house tonight. Forrest and Phyllis, Otis Forrest and Scott Phillips, they will bless your heart. I've been knowing Otis Forrest many years, and he's just been a great friend. We did recording with him, Wade and Easley, many years ago, and they're just wonderful. And Scott's going to start off tonight with one of my favorite songs. It's going to bless you tonight, There is a River. And he 
said If you just drink of this water What a beautiful song. And aren't you glad that there is a river that will never, ever run dry. Amen. Our scripture this evening is in 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. It reads like this. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that the labor is not in vain in the Lord. You know, that's something that we should be in our lives is definitely steadfast and unmovable, standing upon His Word. In this day and time, there's so much going on. There's so much happening that, that could just knock us off our feet if we're not careful. But we need to be grounded in His Word and in the work that He has for you and I in our lives we should be about the father's business and each and every one of us are here for a purpose and all of us are ministers unto the Lord we all have something that we should be doing and so we need to be steadfast unmovable in the work that the Lord has called us to do when it's so important in this but like I say this day and time in a world where so much is going on it's not just in the church it's everywhere. We we go to church to get refreshed. You know, I was thinking about mm -hmm. Pastor Mike. He's just been bringing such an awesome word. I told him the other week, it's just been tremendous. But we go there to get refreshed and just get in the word together as a church. Mm -hmm. But then we go out into the highway and the hedges. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, whether you're in the Walmart or the drugstore, the Sam, wherever you're at, the grocery store, that's where the mission field is. It is. And, you know, the last part of the scripture where it talks about that our labor is not in vain. Mm -hmm. And it's not. Why? If we're walking and in the word that yes. he's supposed, that he's given us in the life that we should live, it's not in vain because, you know what, his word does not return void. It accomplishes that which is in I don't see us retiring. If anything, we need to step up our pace. You got it. <laughs> Otis Farce is standing by. He's going to do a play a song right now. Give the world a smile.
just give God praise. God is in the house tonight. Otis Forrest, Scott Phillips is here with us, and I'm telling you, if you've never heard them before, you're in for a treat Amen. because they certainly Amen. will bless your heart. And nothing could be any better tonight, Wade, than to have our folks. We feel like they're our family. I feel Amen. like that. Pastors right. Bill and Ann Chrysler, we're so glad to have y'all here tonight. Well, Thank it's you. great to well, be it's here. It's good to be with y'all. And we love y'all. We love so you. much. Love you. You're just a <laughs> You're our big part of our life. And I was thinking a couple of weeks ago, I kept waking up, waking up thinking, you know, we need to have this program on Israel. I was just, it was just coming up out of my spirit. And the more I thought about it, I thought, well, you know, it was September four years ago when wow. we had the round wow. table yeah. discussion. Remember? Wow, I remember. And the healing services were right. birthed then. Do you remember that? Yep. You know, I looked at you and you looked at me. And we just kind of knew, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, and it was supposed to be here if Dante would say it'd be okay, and, and he did, him and Dwayne, and we just thank the Lord for many, many that have come through the doors here that have gotten help, gotten saved, gotten set free, gotten healed. Right. In fact, we just heard of a miracle just a few days ago, and so we hope to put together a Thanksgiving program. Good. Yeah. And Praise have, God. And have this man come on and share his testimony. God is moving. I believe we're in the last days. Amen. Oh, yes. No Bill, doubt. Right. Right. No right. doubt about I it. I know. Uh, and more and more, you know, and things that I've really been praying for for years, all of a sudden, shoo, right. am I seeing it come to pass? It just runs all over me. I yeah. believe the Lord. Wait, I believe the Lord's coming back soon. And I do, too. I mean... When you look around and see everything that's taking place. Yeah. All at once. All at once is right. See, that's the key. A lot of things happen here and there, and individual things happen. But when you look at uh, Matthew 24, and you start looking at that, he says when these things begin to happen, not just once, but faster and faster and more and more, then you're going to know that I would look up your salvation towards God. Right. I think even the time and seasons yeah. are coming quicker. I mean, like, oh, yes. it just seems like it was July and now <laughs> it's October. This I whole mean, year has just passed by so uh, fast. And you remember I thought about something while he was talking about what you seen one time about Jesus, like it was just he was getting ready to to come for. Remember that? You told me a long time ago. I just seen that. I was sudden. I did. I, it's, it was like a, a dream I had one time. And what it was is I was picturing in the dream Christ was sitting at the right hand of the Father. Jesus was there. Right. And all of a sudden, he stood up and started taking a step forward. Huh. And when I woke up, I thought, "Is are we that close to him stepping on the clouds of glory yeah. to call his children home? And, huh. and it was so vivid that he started forward and, and all. And I think, you know, that's what's... We're that close. Yeah. That's right. The signs are all here, you know. Very much so. You know, when we talked this week and we were talking about Israel, which that's going to be a big, important part. Right. You said when you went, when you and Bill yeah. went with Jimmy and Joanne right. in 1979. Right. That was the first time we went. It was barren. Barren, yes. I think, I think we have a picture of of that, that we, if we could show that. I believe that was the first time. Uh, if it's not, it was a recent picture back years ago. You can tell it was years ago right. uh, that that picture was taken. But so many changes have happened since then. Oh, That's man. exactly right. I don't know exactly when to tell you that it began to happen because when you went in 1979, do you recall the next time that you went? Uh, I think it was... Uh, 84 yeah. was the next time we yeah, went. We uh, that was a f starting of a 15 times. 84, and were there things beginning to oh, yes. oh, yeah. The first time we went, um, we flew Royal Jordanian and flew into Amman, Jordan, and uh, went to Petra. And, you know, that's where Petra is. If you'll read uh, Revelations 12, Petra is where... Israel, God will take Israel during that tri uh, tribulation. God will hide him there. Hide Israel at Petra. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, we went through the desert and uh, then crossed the Allenby Bridge. It took us almost, uh, a, almost half oh, a, day. a day, <laughs> you know. 
But uh, then, the, then from then on, we flew into Israel. And what did it seem like when you were there at Petra, knowing these things were going to happen, and you were there to actually see where yeah. right. it was going to take place? It is the most uh, amazing place, and I'll never forget. We had to ride horses down in there for a long time. It's a long way down. Yeah, and it's just rocks. The whole thing, Petra, is just rocks. And uh, I can remember Joe and riding the, the, the <laughs> I can just picture yeah. that. <laughs> uh, but it, it was just amazing that uh, what you see there and then learn in the scriptures. Now tell me what we're looking that's at That's the here. Dead Sea right there. Oh, the Dead Sea. Yeah. But, uh, and you know, some of you may be watching right now. Wade and I have never been, so we're kind of getting to see this. I, I know you showed this before, but it never hurts to be refreshed. That's right. You know, right. about Israel. And uh, even when Randy was here the other night, they're fixing to leave yeah. the 1st of November to go over there on mission work. But if we could show some of the pictures of the places you went, I don't know if we had that of Petra or not. But they can go in their word. I know I have a Bible yeah, where I can yeah, go in can, the back. You can get it. Uh, my concordance. But read Revelation 12, it, and, and, it, and it's talking about um, what will happen when um, uh, said in a great sign and wonder, war, warning of future events, uh, and it talks about the woman, and, and that woman is Israel clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. And then it talks about she was pregnant. That's Jesus he's talking about. And that's when said God takes him, them there to protect them from uh, the dragon or Satan, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what's happening mm -hmm. so that they'll all, because many, many, many uh, uh, people of Israel be, will be killed during that time. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, God's going to have that remnant, right. you know. I believe that. But uh, yes, definitely. Israel is the signpost. Mm -hmm. yes. God, you know, that's God's land. Mm -hmm. God put his name on Israel, didn't he? That's be? right. And the thing about it, Ann, is, is a lot of times we don't recognize some of the things God's whispering in your ear. And I, I had that thing whispered in my ear because we've been many times. But the thing is, when you start thinking about Israel, you got to think about that's God's favorite, not that's favorite right. person, but favorite country because he picked them himself to be the, the one that he was going to use. Mm -hmm. Right. Not because they were more people, but because God loved them mm -hmm. and wanted to use them as an example. The word says... Uh, Israel is the apple of God's eye. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he told Abraham in uh, Genesis 12, he said, I'm giving you this land. Mm -hmm. And he said, those that bless Israel will be blessed. Mm -hmm. And those that curse Israel will be cursed. And we've seen that all through the yeah. Old Testament. Even today, sure. you see it. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that our nation... Thank God is behind Israel. Oh, and what happened? Our president. We need to thank God yes. every day yes. Yes. for what our president right. did yes. in moving our embassy there and declaring and decreeing that Jerusalem is the uh, capital capital of, of Israel. And I believe if I'm if I'm saying this correctly, you correct me if I'm not. That President Trump was the first president to go to. The Wailing Wall, right? Right, yeah. right. And this that we have on the table here tonight is, what? tell us what this is. That, that is the prayer show. And you see two basic colors most of the time in mm -hmm. Israel. The blue one is what some people call the Tale of David. And the, this one here is sort of a burgundy color. Yeah. And this is the ones the rabbis use, some of them. And it's... Uh, it's uh, when I say use, they they pray, as you know, go to the wailing wall cover and they head. cover their head. Yes. And and one of the things that happened to me when I was over there years ago, in fact, it was time Jimmy and Joanne and all of us there. We went up to the wailing wall because you have to, men have to put a yarmulke on mm -hmm. and women can't go to the same side as the men go. Mm -hmm. So they had a fence there. We was on one side and they was on the other. And so me and a uh, boy from Tennessee and uh, Jimmy... Thompson was standing in there together talking about 
the, 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 the rabbis were rocking, had their prayer book, and they was rocking back and forth. And of course, these were the Hasidim, the real strict Jews. And they, they, they have the long beard, they wear the black hamakas and that thing, you know. And they were praying. And I believe the boy from Tennessee said, look at them, how they love God and how they pray. And Jimmy looked back funny, and I looked at Jimmy, and he says, yes, the Lord spoke and said, yes, they pray, and they put their prayers to the wall. He says, but you as a child of God, through, through son Jesus, your prayers go over the wall. Oh, my. Oh, I wow. like to fail, right? <laughs> you know, like then, you know. But, but, but that's, that's the truth. What's in your heart determines where you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And what's in your heart also determines what you know. Yeah. So yeah. the Word of God is the key. Mm. Well, you know what? We've got a, a lot to talk about tonight, and we've got pictures we were talking about in 1979, yep. how it was barren, but then the next time they went back, oh, my word, I know I have gone online on my computer, and you can do this as well. Right. And just look like look up flowers in Israel or, or fruits and trees. I've never seen so many fruits <laughs> Fruits I've never heard of in Israel. And, and then I begin to read about the milk, how they have milk yep, yep. You know, that goes out. You know what? God is fixing to do something. That's right. That's right. And you know what? We're going to be a part. I'm, I have feeling Amen. excitement. Sure. It's not a day to turn and hide. It's a day to get ready right. and make sure those around you are ready. We're going back to Scott Notice right now, and he's going to do a song, Rest My Case. There's a covenant sweet It was written
Mm. Now's a good time for you just to slip your hand in and begin Amen. to right praise now. Him praise and worship Him for Jesus. who He is. Who He He is the great I am. He is the great physician. He is wonderful. He is counselor. And I and I told my floor director, I said, I want Otis to come back. I just want us to flow for just a few minutes in some worship. And then when we come back, we're gonna show you some pictures. We're gonna show you some pictures of some beautiful flowers in Israel and the fruit trees. We want you to be a part of what's going on here tonight, this celebration of Israel. It's going to be our home one day. So we're going back to Otis right now. He's going to do a song and just flow with him tonight in worship. He keeps me singing. I know tonight that you're enjoying this singing and playing as much as we are. Over Praise here. God. We're just worshiping, and I know some of these songs are old, and you're probably just singing right along with them tonight. We are talking tonight about Israel. Now's a good time. If you want to know anything, any questions about Israel, pick up the phone. The number's there on your screen. Or maybe you've got a prayer request. Here in just a few moments, Wade's got the prayer request over here and some praise reports. And right down at the end of the first hour, we're going to be praying over them. We were talking about some of the things that took place. 1979, it was barren. But then you went back again in 1984. Is that right? Right. And things had changed. Now, I asked them to show a picture, first of all, if, if they've got that ready. If not, we'll go to the flowers and the fruit. But here is, this is the picture I want us to look yeah. at. If you'll look right there, straight ahead to the right in the white shirt with her pocketbook on that's the arm, right. that's Joanne Thompson. Sure <laughs> I'm trying to say, oh, and Jimmy is right behind right. Yeah. them. Do you remember? Did I you go? I remember yeah. it very well. And you know, we were talking about how uh, it was so barren <laughs> and uh, I can remember <laughs> Joanne, you know, she loved uh, fruit. She loved fruit, but she loved ice in her Oh, she did love drinks. ice. Yeah, I remember Don. You could not get, she begged for ice. She <laughs> couldn't even get ice then. And uh, we always tell the story about how we had, uh, one night we were eating dinner and uh, Joanne ordered beef. And so when it came, she said, what is this? Uh-huh. 
said, I ordered beef. They said, that's tongue. <laughs> oh, no. She said, I'm not eating tongue. <laughs> I, I would like to just been a fly on the wall and seen the expression on her face. <laughs> yeah, it was so wonderful. But she I talked could... so often about the trips that she oh, went on yeah. with you all. And, and right now, I want us to take a moment and see some of the beautiful flowers. These are just for you tonight. I know I got on my computer, and I just went from one picture on to another. And so I'm telling you, beautiful fruit. I want you to look at this fruit. So many different kinds. Oh, I never yes. seen Every kind you think banana of. tree. I never seen so many tree. banana trees. Banana, banana, the thing is, when you ride down the road on the bus, this side of the road would be barren, it'd be <gasps> desert. The other side, there you see it. it I mean, flowers. that's what, what flowers, everything you can imagine. I, I really, Gwen, some of the avocados <laughs> over there w w look, look like small footballs. <laughs> so what are we looking at here? Some more fruit? That's a fruit tree. Fruit wow. Tree, yeah. For a place that was barren. That's right. For so many years. But yeah. I was there in the Navy. I was there in 56 and a ship tied up right outside of Haifa because that's when there was fighting <gasps> going on. Yeah. And, and when I was there then, you know what people were dying from? Malaria because of the swamps. There were swamps all yeah. over, over the Samaria and, and even on down into the lower part. Wow! I mean, there was it just you couldn't imagine it. But now, look at look at these look at these flowers. Flowers, yeah. They Every send color. flowers all over the world. They're the number one shipper of flowers uh -huh. and fruits. And, and, and fruits. Yes, now. I went and did my homework this week and just <laughs> yeah. pulled it up. I could not believe all the things that they ship out of there, the most beautiful flowers. Some flowers I have never seen. Look right. at the fruit. Oh, kinds I'm of They're flowers. well known for the gladiolus, too. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I read that. I'm telling you, all over the world, they send these things. And guess what else I've seen? I don't have a picture of it, but milk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were one of the biggest. Well, you would think as small as that little place is. <laughs> I know that it. They couldn't have cows, but they <laughs> they do some amazing things. The highest amounts of milk per animal in the world. Yeah. Can you believe that? That's right. I, I'm just amazed. And when I look at these pictures, I'm thinking, oh, that's going to be our home. That's going to be our that's home right. one day. You know, and I don't know if you can grasp that tonight, but that's what I woke up the other morning with. I'm thinking, what a beautiful place. It is. Oh, my word. And all the different colors, all you the different imagine. kinds. You know, we don't even, we don't even and grasp. the greatest thing is his presence. His presence. When you oh. fly into there and you get off that plane, yep. yeah. you're in the presence of God. It's like you're walking with Jesus. Wow. And it's like you're home. You feel like okay. you're home. And every because time we leave, we always say, Oh, Father, we don't want to go home. One day we will this have to. This is our home. <laughs> I know it. One day we'll be there. That's yeah. right. That'll be our home. But when I look at these pictures of all this, I just stand amazed because he did it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Some of those banana trees, mm -hmm. they, they have to stake them up because it's heavy with fruit. They hang all the way to the ground. Wow. I mean, just miles after them. Wow. Okay. We used to stop in Jericho and uh, buy fruit and all to wow. eat for, for our lunches. I, I just, uh, I'm so amazed. How, how many acres do you think? Oh, there's no telling. Yeah. But you got to remember now, it's, it's, it's not that big. Israel's it same size. Mighty big. <laughs> it's the same size as New Jersey. Now you think about that. That's New all New Israel Jersey. is. Wow. And look what they grow. But see, they developed that drip method for irrigation. And to show you how they love people and be good, they took that method that they developed over to, to the other the Arabs to show them so they could get more from their ground and wow. help them develop it. Wow. But you know, the Lord prophesied back in the Old Testament that the desert would bl blossom like a rose. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's where we're seeing even now. That's a sign of His coming. You know, the Word says that God... Israel is God's time clock. That's right. And what we see in Israel, some of the signs, the number one sign God said is when Jesus comes, the Jews shall return home to their promised land. When you see the Jews return to their promised land, Israel, then you know that the time is short. And we're seeing there's more Jews there now than it's ever been before. And uh, 
Yeah. Zechariah 10 and Jeremiah 30 talks about that. And then another sign that we're seeing even now said when you see Israel surrounded, this is um, Luke uh, 21, 20, when it's talking about the signs of the end, yeah. Jesus come and said, Israel be, will be surrounded by hostile nations. Every nation around Israel is hostile to, it, to Israel. Yeah. And you're seeing so many flare-ups now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Because they hate Israel. That's it. But I'm glad we're a friend to Israel. That's right. I'm so glad that we've got That's a exactly connection. Right. See, that, but they don't realize <gasps> the curse comes on them. That's right. You, you can't mistreat God's chosen people. That's right. You're in trouble. Oh, I know that's right. <laughs> I know. And then another one, the sign says, uh, Israel uh, is prepare, will be prepare to build the Jewish temple. And when we're there, every time we go in Jerusalem is the uh, Jerusalem Institute, the Temple Institute, and they have finished everything that they need for the new temple. We were talking about the priest's garment. They've trained. They have trained the uh, priests. They've made all the vessels. They've got the, even the animals to be sacrificed. Right. Haven't they, yeah. Bill? The, the ashes of the red heifer you have to have right. in order to bless the priest. Right. And so they they have to have it. They got the original ones that they bred from Mississippi, the ones that they got had over there about eight years ago, ten years ago. Wow! Wow! <laughs> But now here's another thing. People don't hear nothing about it. If you notice you haven't heard anything out of Lebanon lately? No. Do you know why? They're preparing for war with Israel. Hezbollah and, 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 and the others, they, they're all working together now. And no, see, they're not published that. Things are falling in place. Yeah, they yeah. It's right. prophetically coming because together. Because when he comes in those clouds, it's going to be that quick. It's blinking with an eye. And he's going to come and call his people home. And the trumpet's going to sound, and man, we're gone. That's why I, I try to warn people now, look, you don't know. But as close as we're getting to the coming of the Lord, you better get a hold of him right That's now. Right. You better make a, a commitment and find out, because he could come in the next five seconds or for your next breath. So you're saying that everything is in place for the coming of the yeah. Lord. That's right. There's the, the rapture there is no the prophetic scripture that has to be fulfilled now. All of them have been fulfilled prior to his coming. And you know, that was a great step to sort of recognize Israel. Uh, oh, yeah. Jerusalem Absolutely. as the capital. Absolutely. Right. You know. I just think why, you know, this was a couple of weeks ago I called you and I'm thinking, why is the Lord laying Israel on my heart so strong, you know? Because God wants to wake his people up. But I feel this excitement. Yeah. And you, you know, know, it's it was, not that I'm sad. It's just I feel this excitement that exactly. something is fixing to happen. Does right. that make sense? Right. Yeah. Sure. yeah. He shows, he don't hide anything from us. But a lot of times we don't get in the Word enough to, to understand right. what he's saying. And the peace of God, I can't even explain what I'm going to tell you. The last couple of weeks has been too strong. I know there's just two minutes. The last couple of weeks, I wake up singing and I'm out in public and I don't even realize there's a song coming out of my mouth. And we had to pick up something to teach Max, and I was just going down the aisle, and I just felt the Spirit of God on me, and worship was coming out of me. And this lady looked at me, and she said, I thought I was listening to a radio. I said, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. She said, no, it's beautiful. And she began to talk about the Lord and what God was doing in their church. And she just, and, you know, I told her about Nightline. She said, I've never watched it. And I said, were you on charter? And I told her when, and maybe you're watching tonight. I just find myself doing things, and I just feel even in the midst of the greatest storms right now, yeah. today even, the Lord showed me. He said, You're like this hurricane is taking place. He said, I've got you in the eye. But it's a wake-up call. He's trying to wake his people up yeah. because uh, when we talk about uh, Israel being the uh, time clock, another thing is that uh, apostasy in the church a falling away. There's been a falling away from faith and the word, you know, entertainment, yeah. social yeah. issues. And it said the bride has lost her first love. Yeah. You know, the, the word of God says if you love anybody yeah. more than you love Jesus, yeah. then, you know. 
You're not one of his, and so we just have to make sure that we're ready. It's not over. It's not over. We'll be right back. I know. We're just caught up over here in this discussion. <laughs> Please don't turn it. We'll be right back to pick up where we're talking about Israel and his coming.